Hello everybody, my name is Nick here, and today I will be talking about some, probably the hardest to get weapons in Twitter area. Now, I, I talked about this Minecraft video, I don't know if it's going to work, but hopefully it will. Um, so, as you can see in my inventory, I have a weapon. What? No! Why? Oh, jeez, guys, I'm sorry this had to happen, um... This one moment, I decided to. Cause these they have a ton of things. Um, I'm probably going to die a couple times. But hey, it actually gave me a chance to uh, test out the weapons. Whoa, what was that? Okay, so the first one is actually these, van godly vampire knives. Now these are really hard to get because they come in these red chests, I think. And they're called Crimson Chest, and they're in the hard mode dungeon. And they can only be opened once you obtain the Crimson Key Mold, which is obtained from things killed in the Crimson Biome. Now, this is really hard to do once you hit hard mode, because the hollow destroys practically your other your biome, and your new one starts somewhere else. Now, this is harder to do because that happens. So, that'll be that one. So it does 37 melee damage, and that's because it's godly. It throws life stealing daggers. So, what it does, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but like, as you can see, there's a red line going back to me as I hit them. That is actually because I'm getting life back because I, uh, because the fact that I, uh, hit them and I get life back. So, the next weapon, oh, you guys already saw it. So, the next weapon is the coin gun. Now, I don't know if any of you guys, some of you guys knew about this, but this thing does a ton of damage if you have platinum coins. As you can see, gold coins do 100 damage, silver does 50, and copper does 25. So you can see copper equals, is times 2, multiply the copper damage times 2 to get uh, the silver coin. Also, I apply that times 2 and you get the gold. Now, if you have platinum coin, just multiply the gold coin by 2. Now you understand how much damage it does. It does 100 damage. That's what it does. So, uh, it does 200 damage. I wish I had some platinum coins, but I don't. So you can see. Oh, that's a chest. This thing shoots really fast and does a ton of damage. Now these, these vampire knives, the reason I'm using them is because they do a ton of damage. Something banner. I, I've killed already 50 swamp things. Okay, I'm really sad this had to happen right now. So that's that. That's the coin gun. Jeez. I really hate it when solar eclipses happen. And the next is the axe. Actually, wait, that's not right. Next is the Unreal Mega Shark. This thing is hard to get because of its modifier. The mech shark isn't that hard to get, but you do have to pay for it. But this, along with the crystal bolts, are really hard to get. Now, that is what it's recommended to fight most bosses with. Now, it is really hard to get because of the um how much you have to spend on actually trying to get the actual um modifier. Now, I'm gonna shoot a couple bolts. Oh, that's I, I thought that was the guy. That's pretty good damage. But I have a bunch of bullets, so I should be able to kill all these guys. And I think they do double, they pierce more than one enemy. So it's really good. And then another reason I keep having to come back to different weapons every time I try to do this. But it's third time I try to do this. But they, um, they throw tons of knives. But most of them are hitting the ground right now. And disappearing before you even see them. I really hate when it's like, what's happening? So many mobs spawn, I can't even get to them. Stuff okay, it's yes. After that is the axe. Now, this is a really rare drop from Planetary. It's also the best axe and hammer in the game. That thing does 100% hammer power and 175% axe power. It also does 82 melee damage. So, I'm gonna use this. Hopefully, there's no trees around. And look, this thing is insane. It's killing stuff from solar eclipses easily. This thing is nuts. Absolutely nuts. I love this weapon. But I don't use it that much. I use my godly vampire knives. 
Also, for the knives, see, I keep coming back to it. It's so awesome there. They actually became the godly is the best modifier. Most of these weapons have the best modifier for them on them. But these knives came with that. It's hard to believe, but yes, it actually did happen. I was able to find it in the chest. What did she do? Oh, it's Izor. So it's been a while since I've had a solar eclipse happen. If I get what I think, if I get something, yes. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I need. So I can show you guys this. Jeez, okay, can everything stop attacking me for once? Okay, next is the murderous piranha gun. Now this is another one of those gun, those weapons, I don't need that yet. That you get from the chest like these, called the vampire knives. Now this thing, I don't know how to work it, so I'm not going to use it because I'll die. But this thing, it says that it latches on enemies for continuous damage. Now this thing does 35 damage, and I don't know how to use it. I would show you, but I don't know how to use it. It says it does it, but when I try to use it, it doesn't work for me. So, I'm not going to actually show you. See, I'm barely taking any damage because of healing. Also, I'm going to show you how good my... Another of the hardest armor you can possibly ever get. Okay, next is the Staff of the Fellow Frost Hydra. Now, this thing is my second favorite weapon out of the four weapons you can get out of the, the biome chests. This thing summons a powerful Frost Hydra to spit eyes at your enemies. Watch this. Just is it? It sometimes takes a while to actually load up. And then boom, boom. This thing is great for keeping stuff back from you. I need to get the axe out probably. Okay, so I'm gonna keep those two weapons since they're really good with each other. Eh, of course the solar eclipse had to happen today. Of all days. Okay, let's see. Okay, next is the true knight edge. This also goes along with the next weapon, and then those two. Okay, the reason why this is on the list is because you need one of these. It's only a rare drop during solar eclipses. Also, the fact that you have to get just you have to get the chance. Why do I just unlock these? I've had these for a while. I don't know, but look, you have to craft. You have to craft these three weapons, which blade crafts is. All three of these are kind of hard to craft in pre hard mode. And this you can only get from the dungeon out of gold chests. And then you have to use a broken hero sword, which is a rare drop to make this. It makes this really good damage. And it is not, and like, as you can see, it shoots out really powerful beams. Long, wait, is that one? See, oh, it shoots out swords that spin and they do tons of damage. So this goes along correlation, so I'm gonna keep it out with the true Excalibur. Now these two things are go together and make a really good weapon. But as you can see it shoots out swords too. So it does sixty-six damage, I think. This is just regular thing. It's just a regular Excalibur. Now these two things lead to the final weapon. And then I'll show you the bit, the hard probably the hardest armor to get in the game. Now the the hardest the probably my favorite weapon in the entire game, and probably the the hardest to get weapon personally I think is the terror blade. Now this you have to combine these two, which are hard enough to get because you have to get two of these, and then combine those with another one of these to get this, and then including the legendary part, which is the best. Enchantment for this thing or reforge stuff. I don't know what you call it. It cost me over 50 platinum coins. Just imagine how long I was collecting coins. Now, this thing, the animation I love, and it's really, really fast. It's like, look how fast this is. It shoots out gold green swords, so it kind of combines the the true Excalibur's beam. Look how fast it shoots. This is one swing per about half a second that is really fast and does tons of damage so you can understand why it's on my list i mean it's auto it's always going to be on this list now this is probably this is really good but it's not good unless you have a really nice armor which i'm about to show you now okay good so basically 
this armor gives you 89 defense when all this stuff down here is war. Now, this alone is the best melee armor. It's not this, I'm just tapping on some of them. I'm trying to tap on something else. Okay, there we go. Now, it alone does, um, oh, you can actually see it, okay. See, it's a turtle set. Now, if you have the tarot blade in this set, which does 100% thorns, the enemies who hit you do 100, get 100% 100 of the damage they dealt to you. You can kind of duplicate that with thorns potions, but you can't fully duplicate it. This is infinite until you decide to change it. Now, if you wonder where I have the meteor suit on the Bainty, I just think it looks awesome. So, 89 defense, just think of that. That's probably the best you can possibly get. Maybe even more. But it's glorified armor. But the reason why this is hard to get, though, is because you need a turtle shell. And a lot of glorified. Like, 54 glorified bars. Now, for those of you who know what a glorif uh, glorified is, unless you're not in hard mode, for those of you who don't, it is the hard, the end game armor. The endgame ore. See, look at that solar eclipse. And endgame ore. And it's really hard to find. It comes in small veins um, of usually up to six. But that's enough to make one bar. You have to make 54 of this stuff. But that's not the hard, That's not even the hardest part. If I can find some qualified art, I will show you. But and I'll keep talking about how to. What's the hardest part? The hardest part. Is actually making and getting the most important part of the armor because if you didn't have this you would just have glorified armor basically the hardest thing to get oh here's them as you can see but the hardest thing the hardest part about it is getting the actual turtle shells now these are a really 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 rare drop from turtles they're not really rare I kind of over exaggerated that a little bit because I like to over exaggerate the hardest it is really hard, it's really rare. I don't think I have any, which is kind of sad for me because I would love to show you guys turtle shells. But I guess I can show you in the captain recipe. As you can see, I have tons of stuff. I mean, tons and tons of stuff. I'll show you in the captain recipe for turtle armor. Ooh, bat wings. You can make those. The fairy wings. Let's see, turtle armor. See, this turtle shell. Now, the reason. It is really nice that it only costs one turtle shell. But these things are hard to get. You can spend days and days of fighting turtles. But turtles, even with my armor, and they, have, they alone do um a quarter of my golden hearts with the probably the best armor, the best armor stats that you can possibly have. If you have no armor and you're fighting this in a hard mode world and you're trying to get turtle shells, you're gonna die within about two seconds. That's why it's so hard to get. Now, last time I get bad wing because this is probably my third attempt at recording. Uh, and so I'm not gonna do that. Also, um, I just need you guys to tell me something. If you guys would like me to show you how to code the game and get an inventory editor leave a comment down below and i will show you guys how to do that in another video so hope you guys enjoy and um, if you did please leave a like on the video if you can hit two likes that'd be amazing and if you're new here if you're new to the channel please subscribe um thanks for watching and thanks